Hi guys, welcome back. I am going to show you exactly how you can use your Bitmoji Classrooms and your Bitmoji character within the platform Google Classroom. So I've created a blank classroom to start off with to show you guys all how to set it up using your Bitmoji Classroom. The first way that you can use your classroom is through a header photo. So if you come here, you see that it's just the blank template or the template that it comes with when you create a new classroom, but I wanna customize that. So I'm gonna go over here to upload photo, and you can either just take a screenshot of uh, the Bitmoji classroom that you've already created, like I'm going to show you here, but typically it doesn't fit exactly how you want it. So I can adjust a little bit and get whatever area I'd like um, into my header photo, like so, and it's gonna generate here or what you can do is go to a different website like Google Slides, Google Drawing, or I love to use the website Canva, where you can go to the right here and customize your dimensions. So if you're going to be making a um, Google Classroom header, I'd suggest creating your dimensions 800 by 250 pixels and choosing Create New Design. When I do that, our I'm able to um, create my new classroom following the steps that I outlined in my video, how to make a Bitmoji classroom. Once I created it how I'd like it to look, I can simply go here to download and choose PNG or JPEG, and I can come back to my classroom, upload, and insert that new classroom photo in there. And it fits so much better. And so now this is going to be your new header photo so that students know that we're using Google, our Bitmoji classrooms, and it just makes it a little more customized for your classroom. Um, when you're inserting your Bitmoji classroom that we've all been creating, I know we have a bunch by now, um, you're going to go ahead and choose classwork. And right now it's empty because this is a brand new site, but I would choose create. So the different ways that you can use Bitmoji Classroom in Google Classroom are through assignment, quiz assignment, and materials. So I'm going to start off by going to materials. These are going to be the materials that I want my students to access throughout the year. So one of the classrooms I want to put in there is our homeroom. So I'm going to title it Our Home Room. And then I can add a description stating that students can visit the homeroom for our class schedule, our class website, our online resources, et cetera, whatever is in your homeroom that you want them to access. Once you're ready, you're gonna go to your Bitmoji classroom that you'd like to link and go over to File, Publish to the Web, and I'm going to go ahead and copy the link that it generates here. Come back to your Google Classroom, go to Add, and you're going to choose Link. You can also go straight from your Google Drive and drop it in there um, if you'd like. I would just go ahead and make sure that your classroom is on a view only link mode so that your students aren't able to move anything around or alter your classroom. But um, a way around that is to just go ahead and do that publish to the web. So once I have that link, I'm gonna go paste it in and upload it. Then over here, you can choose which students you want to have access to this material, or you can choose all students because this is a resource for my entire class to use. I'm gonna make sure it's on all students because this is a um, just a tutorial classroom. I don't have my students listed here. So once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and post. And you can go ahead and click on what you've posted and you can see the link that um, you have just added to this materials tab. And it will also come with the instructions. When you click on the link, it will generate a URL that will take your students to this slide. There they can click on the links that I have embedded into my classroom and that link takes them to our class website, like so, okay? Another way that you can use um, Bitmoji Classroom in Google Classroom is to use it for our specials classes. So I've created the specials hub 
to house all of the websites and links um, for our specials classes. We have art, computer, PE, library, and um, I will have the links for all of those websites that our specials teachers provide us. We'll, you're, again, follow the steps to go to file, publish to the web, and take that code that it generates for you. You'll go back to your Google Classroom, and this time I want to add this again to my materials because I want my students to be able to access this classroom again and again as I assign it. So I'm gonna to go to material. I'm gonna label it our specials classroom. And then I can also add our schedule. So Monday they go to art class, Tuesday computer lab, um, etc. wherever fits your schedule that you have. And then I'm going to again go to add link and copy and paste the link into that section. You can choose which students again you want this to generate to. And when you're ready, go ahead and post it. So now I have these home, these links as resources um, under materials that our students can again and again access as needed. Um, another way that you can use Bitmoji Classrooms in Google Classroom is to create an assignment. So this is going to be um, if you want them to complete something specific like I have here in this number classroom. This classroom was created from a um, lady on a Facebook, a Bitmoji Facebook group that I am a part of, and they share so many free resources on there. So I suggest going ahead and um, joining one of those groups, like B is for Bitmoji, or Bitmoji Craze for Educators, PK1 Bitmoji Classrooms. They have a bunch of great resources there. So I grabbed this one from there, and I'm gonna follow the same steps to publish to the web. And I want to copy this link, and this time I want to say title is number one practice where I want my students to explore three different links in the number one classroom. Okay, and then here you have more options because this is an assignment. Um, you can choose which students you want. So if this is a differentiated assignment and I just want five of my students to continue their practice on number one, I can choose those five students. I can choose how many um, points it's worth or if I want it to not be graded at all, I can choose a due date here and a time and a topic or a rubric. So there's so many different options in assignment. And again, make sure that you add your link and it will generate here. Once it's assigned, those students that you assign it to, it will pop up on their feed and um, they're able to complete their classwork that way. And the um, another way that you can use it is through small groups. So what I've done is I've created differentiated small group rooms based on level um, and I have them colored by, I have a yellow room, a blue room, green, and a red room. And each of those rooms have their own specific uh, links. So this is gonna say that this group needs to work on ABC practice as along with their journal app on Seesaw. And so I want to go ahead and grab this link once again. And from there, I'm gonna go back to my classroom, create an assignment. And I wanna say yellow, groups, small group practice room. And I can give them instructions. Um, today, please practice on, please, pra uh, please practice your journal assignment. Okay, and this can be customized to whatever you want from them. And again, I'm gonna go to add my link in there and I can customize the things to the right here for whatever I need, and I'll assign it. And I would make sure to assign it just for those members of that group, and when they come to the link, they can just go ahead and choose whatever assignment they um, have for that day.
Okay, the last way that I have saw that you can insert your Bitmoji into uh, Google Classroom is to go here to create and choose quiz assignment. When you choose quiz assignment, you have the options to create a quiz through Google Docs, Slides, or Drawings. If you use any of those platforms, you can use your Google Chrome extension to insert your Bitmoji character within your quiz to just make it a little more fun and interactive since everything is gonna be virtual this year on and off. Um, it's just fun to customize things and to um, make things a little more fun for your students, especially in different elements like Google Classroom um, and Seesaw and things like that. So again, these are all geared, all of my classrooms that I put here are geared towards primary grades, but Google Classroom is more so for um, the upper grades, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, et cetera, um, because they don't have a feature that reads prompts and instructions to you. So your students should typically be able to read before you're using Google Classroom. If not, I suggest use Seesaw instead. Um, but so far, these are the different ways that I found that you can use Bitmoji Classroom and your Bitmoji within Google Classroom. And um, if you have any other tips or tricks or ways to um, incorporate the two, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. And um, I would be happy to explore and maybe make another video. As always, subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners, for more videos to come. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy.